if you live in a humid client, climate, you need to be protecting your cameras and especially your lenses against humidity. You should store them in some sort of container that is halfway watertight. Um, if you don't have them in a safe, obviously most people don't want to buy a thousand dollar safe and they don't have that much gear that they need it in a thousand dollar safe. The easiest way to protect your camera and your gear against humidity is if you store it in the closet or in cor some corner of your room, wherever it's safe, okay? Go out to Lowe's or Home Depot and get one of those gigantic Tupperware jobbies. Um, you know, it's like a three feet by about two feet deep to store all your cameras and lenses in. It's like, oh, well, that's fine. Those are actually mostly water, uh, what they are watertight, most of them are. But they're also, most of them, the really good ones uh, that are made out of the uh, rubbery sort of uh, uh, a seal that actually lock really well. They are mostly airtight. And what you want to do, and one of these, and I'll give you the link below, um, is $13.99, and it's completely reusable. Most silica gel beads are useless, the little disposable packages. They're useless. Once they actually suck up all the moisture, you know, it's time to toss them. These are uh, completely reusable, rechargeable, rechargeable. This uh, can of 1700, uh, excuse me, 750 grams of desiccant. I've got a few of these. I use these. These are great and they're rechargeable. They're very simple. 750 grams of desiccant are rechargeable. Let me open it up to show you what's inside. Oh, there you go. Now, these uh, little uh, pink beads are uh, indicators They're showing that it needs to be recharged. What you do is uh, you lay out a cooking sheet on low heat in your oven. You spread these out on top of the cooking sheet and you bake them at low heat. You only have to do this like once or twice a year. Once these turn pink, um, that means it's time to recharge them. Uh, you'll bake them for like about a half an hour. You peek in at them. And uh, once the pink beads turn clear, like their little buddies here, uh, that means they're ready to go again. Just let them cool off, and then uh, pour them back into this container, and uh, stick your lid back on. Right there, you have all these little holes in here that suck up the moisture. Put this in your Tupperware container. It's not a regular Tupperware container. We're talking about one that's uh, basically three and a half feet wide and about uh, two feet deep. Those things are like, I think they're like uh, 15 to $20. $20 for the really good one at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's just a gigantic, uh, you know, storage box. It's made out of that, uh, that uh, rubbery material that is mostly airtight. They, they have two snaps on either side of the handhold. You stick this in there with your lenses. And this is actually enough to protect. This is overkill, but this is the best thing. This is designed to protect 57 cubic feet. Now that Tupperware container, uh, that's what I call them anyway. Storage container Tupperware. Gigantic Tupperware uh, container. Um, is only like, I don't know, what about 8 or 9 cubic feet. So this is about 8 times overkill, which means it also does a really good job. And let's say it's totally rechargeable. And one of these is uh, fourteen dollars, and they might be cheaper on eBay. And like I said, you just uh, cook them like uh, cookies in your oven once or twice a year to uh, recharge the desiccant pellets, and you put them back in, and they're ready to rock and roll. These will last you a lifetime. Okay, so awesome idea. You'll never have a worry about humidity on your camera gear if you live in a really, really humid climate, like my other house in South Florida. So here you go. 750 grams of rechargeable desiccant. Thanks for watching, and this is expert tip of the day for how to dehumidify and keep your gear fungus-free. Okay?